What's going on OmniBuddies? Mitch here and today we are back doing another OmniBuddy unboxing right now. All right, so it's been a little while. It's been crazy. My work has been absolutely insane. I got sick, not the Rona, just the awful flu going around now that all the kids are back at school, of course. Uh, but we are back on the horse. I have a pulled muscle in my shoulder, so I'm like very immobile on this side. Whatever, we gotta get this video going. We gotta get back to creating fun content. And I miss talking with you all about all this stuff. We have some amazing stuff going on. We have three packages and three books. So one book per box, I guess, or envelope, but uh, some very, very exciting stuff. Uh, we're gonna save the best for last. If you know me, you know what that logo is. Usagi Yojimbo, we're saving that book for last because so excited about that one. All right, let's dig in to the first book. These come to us from our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. If you don't know OPB, uh, greatest packaging, greatest communication, uh, some of the greatest pricing in the industry, you cannot go wrong purchasing from them. You can use code OMNIBUDDY for two bucks off every order. Save yourself two bucks off every order. Use OMNIBUDDY ship it together code to get three or with three plus books to get 5% off your entire order. It's awesome, it's amazing. There's some great pre-orders that just went up, some great back stock. As of the making of this video, they have a Black Friday holiday sale going on. They're probably gonna be doing some more holiday sales as uh, Christmas and all those holidays come up too, so make sure to hit them up. Anyways, let's dig into this. Uh, I've cut all these open so you're not watching me kill myself with scissors. We got, Great little bookmark right here. Super cool. Come on. Is it not? Is it just not? There we go. <laughs> little sandcastle OPB. Love it. And then we have the attention postal inspector uh, sheet saying this does qualify for media mail. So when it arrives, don't hold it up to, uh, to uh, make the recipient pay more because it does qualify. And then what I really like about this, they are trying out something new with uh, the other box has bubble wrap, but this is all paper. Come on, you guys. Well, not all paper. There's some bubble wrap in there. I can feel it. But I like the, uh, the, uh, recycl recyclability. Recy how I like that it's recyclable. So that's super cool. Um, oh, I guess I forgot to cut this one open. So we got scissors. I have both of my scissors around. If you've been watching videos for any amount of time with me, you know that my kids are always stealing my scissors and I half the time I end up having to use the kids' scissors, uh, which is probably safer for me anyways. Um, but uh, it, yeah, because they always steal mine and I can never find mine. So we actually have all my scissors back in the cabinet right here. Uh, but so first book is by Karen Gillan, Die Complete Hardcover. Well, not complete, but book one, this is a thick, thick boy by Image. I'm going in totally blind to this book, uh, but it's uh, Gillian and it's Image, and I'm very excited for this book just because I love that creator. Uh, great, great creator. So I'm just jumping right on board with that book. Um, yeah, and it's thick for that price. Really good. We got another Postal Inspector thing. This one got a little crazy on the inside because they bubble wrap so much. Uh, and then, ooh, we got another, uh, come on, focus, focus. Got another bookmark in here, sweet. And this one has uh, some bubble wrap in it. And they apparently had a couple extra uh, slip cases. So I've seen this happening around. They've been using some of these, um, uh, something that's killing the children's slip cases, which, uh, does have my shipping label on there, but um, I do have a giveaway for something that's killing the children. Uh, the slipcase is damaged, um, but this one does have my shipping label on there. So I don't know, maybe whoever wins the giveaway can uh, decide if they want the good condition slipcase with the label on it or the banged up condition slipcase. I don't know, but they've been packaging books 
in it. So surprise, we've got Gideon Falls Deluxe Edition Book 2 by Lemire and Sorrentino and Stewart's Colors. Y'all, Gideon Falls Book 1 was insanely good. Friggin' loved it. If you do not know anything about Gideon Falls, I have an overview on Gideon Falls. So make sure to hit that up uh, or I talk all about it. So good. Cannot wait to read Gideon Falls Volume 2. Whew. So good. So excited for that. Let's see. Get that cardboard out of there. Now we got that uh, extra slipcase. Woo woo. And then uh, let's get into the third book. Very excited. Cannot wait. Oh man. It uh, comes to us from Usagi Studios, Stan Sakai, one of the greatest creators of all time. I am going to have to uh, try and salvage that sticker because that sticker is awesome. Love, the, love that logo. Uh, comes to us, not, it's not a Gemini mailer really, it's, but oh yeah, I guess it is a Gemini mailer. But cut it all open and we'll get this cardboard out of here. And we have Book four, Crossroads of Usagi Ojimbo. So this is the fourth out of five books from when Stan Sakai went to uh, IDW from Dark Horse. He started at Fantagraphics, then went to Mirage, then went to Dark Horse, then went to IDW, and he's just announced a couple months ago, maybe a month or, month or two ago, that he's going back from IDW to Dark Horse. So we'll see if they collect all the IDW stuff, the five volumes. Uh, so volume five hardcover should be coming out in, it's like February, 2023, something like that. So we'll see what happens uh, if they collect those five books in like one of the uh, big collected editions. But this is gonna look great on the shelf next to all those same trim size and everything. Oof. And let's get this, get this open. So this is the gold, or not the gold, but this is the Ruby edition, which is, comes with uh, a crazy sketch signature inside in red, limited to 150 copies. The other ones you can get for a lot cheaper and then you can just add on like 20 bucks per add on like signature, remark, full, 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 sketch kind of body sketch kind of a thing and it goes up to like 120 or 140 something like that ruby edition starts at one is just 150 but let's see what we got in here we've got number 134 out of 150 gotta hide my face because it's doing that eye tracking focus thing come on there we go it's got that certificate of authenticity in there Ooh, you guys i got the double sketch which is like uh, only 25 out of the 150 have a double uh, Yukichi and Usagi sketch on it. Look at the thick, thick lines on Usagi. Holy cow. Y'all, so cool. So, so cool. Uh, little number 134 out of 150, or yeah, 134 out of 150 on there. Ooh, so good. So, <laughs> I'm very excited about this book. So, if you don't know, Usagi Ojimbo is one of my favorite probably my all time favorite uh, comic book series. It's been running for 37 years straight. You can pretty much pick it up anywhere within that series or that 37 year, 38 year run and be totally fine uh, reading wherever, but you can totally just pick up right from the beginning, Fantagraphics box set, which collects the whole first chunk. And then Dark Horse has trade paperback editions. The hard covers are crazy out of print and limited and very expensive. But if you buy those trade paperbacks, uh, which they've been reprinting, I think volume six just came out. Um, super cheap, like 25 bucks each. And they collect the exact same content. They're the exact same trim size. They're just not hardcover or limited edition, signed, all that kind of stuff. But I've seen some people do some crazy cool custom binds with those. So much so I'm very tempted to do that as a side project for myself and have a complete second hardcover set that's just totally custom. Very interested in doing that. We'll see what happens. But get into that series because just Fantagraphics box set and then you have Dark Horse uh, Sagas Volume 1 through 9 and Legends. And then you have the uh, f first four uh, trade paperbacks or hardcovers from IDW. Number five is coming out like February. 
2023 and then they're going back to dark horse after a little hiatus but yeah get into usagi sorry that was like a quick uh overview of usagi which i have a total i have i have a full overview brief history of usagi ojibo if you're interested in another video i did uh but yeah so here we have die complete book one we have come on focus up there we go gideon falls book two and we have usagi ojimbo idw uh ongoing run book four crossroads oh man you guys this is some <laughs> this is some really good re I, I i mean i can't speak for die but i've heard nothing but good things and it's uh kieran gillen and very excited for him uh, so I know that's going to be good. Gideon Falls is going to be phenomenal and IDW uh, and Usagi is just always great. So, and then I got a couple little cool bookmarks, which is super awesome. And I'm going to totally cut this sticker up here and save that for something. I don't know. And then I guess I have that extra slipcase now, but you know, whatever. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Man, I've missed doing videos and talking with you all. I don't know if you can feel the energy right now, but I'm pretty excited uh, to finally be back in my library studio office, kids playroom. It's, it's, a, it's a big mix of everything, but I'm excited to be back. Oh man, I, and, and it's the Thanksgiving week. Yeah, you know, I'm just so excited to be back in here again. Uh, so let me know in the comments. I, I say like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all those things. But the main thing, I always say this, comment. I love talking with you all about what you're doing, what you're reading. You know what? Tell me in the comments a book that you're thankful for or a creator, uh, a comic creator that you're that you're thankful for in the, in the comments. I'll give you two right off the bat and they're both uh, mentioned here. Uh, Jeff Lemire, one of my favorite writers, artists of all time. His stuff is phenomenal. Essex County and uh, now I'm blanking on it. Essex County Roughneck was so good. I have a whole section of his stuff right here. Underwater Welder was insane. Maze book over there. Crazy, crazy good stuff. He's got so much good stuff, y'all. And his art, his watercolor art is just out of this world. Uh, and my other, I, I just gushed about him uh, non-stop so I'll just say Stan Sky for Usagi I mean his art is bonkers good and his storytelling is so deep and so well researched so good y'all so those are my two creators uh, from the comic community that I am thankful for let me know in the comments who you're thankful for and why why are they so good why are you so thankful for them what have they brought to the table what have they done for you the deep, uh, you know, what's going on. Let me know in the comments. All right, take care, stay cool.